Hello and welcome to the Bird Tales. Today is December the 5th. I am on a WPA. Skips in there. And we had an okay day. Now, just to get it started, I said it in a previous video that I'm only a dog trainer because I have dogs and I train them. I'm not good at it. I'm trying to figure this out. And I've become cognizant of the fact that a lot of people who watch this, including some of my friends, think that everything is just rosy and that it's going fantastically. Well, that's my fault. I'm lazy when it comes to editing. I show you the good stuff. I don't always show the bad stuff. And I'm gonna try to do a better job of showing some of the problems. Because number one, it's the truth. And I might as well tell the real story. And number two, if there are legitimate dog trainers out there, not armchair quarterbacks who are sitting on their computer and like to say stuff, I'm not interested. Um, but if there are legitimate good dog trainers who have good advice, I'd love to hear it because I'm trying to get better and I could use advice. So we took off and Skip went on point on this brushy patch, kind of a rock pile on the corner of the WPA. And it's thick and nasty. There's no walking through it. You could maybe crawl through it, but obviously you're not shooting. Um, so I work my way up around to the south side of it, and I'm standing up on a rock on the edge of the rock pile. And I kicked her, shook her, did a little bit of something, and two hens got up out of that, out of that brushy stuff. And so, I'm right on the edge of it. There's just a little bit of brush to the south of me. And so I start walking to the north and Skip goes past me to the south and collar buzzes, Skip's on point right behind me. I turn around, I can't remember if I got a couple steps in or what, but a rooster flushed. I mean, he had to have been maybe five yards from where I was standing when the hens flushed. Hold. Drop, good boy. Hey, hey, good boy. Hey, hey, good boy. Good boy, Skipper. Good boy. All right, so then the first issue happens. We come up to another, pretty much the same kind of brushy, nasty stuff in the corner of the field. It's perfect for birds. And Skip goes to it. He's working around. He goes all the way around it and back to the side that he was just on. And he runs right into a rooster. And it flushes towards me. And I'll be honest, if I hadn't just shot a rooster, I probably would have tried to shoot this one. Um, but I had a bird in the bag and I'm trying to be better and so I let it go. I didn't want to reward him for bumping this bird. And I grabbed him, drug him back to where the rooster was, put him on point, told him whoa. Whoa! And we stood there for a minute and thought about what we did. Now I think it was a little bit tougher than it may have seemed because I Thinking about it, he was right there where the rooster flushed when we got up to the brush, and it should have flushed already. I think when he went around it, the bird ran my direction, and so when he came back around the other side, he ran into it. That's still not a very good excuse because the wind should have been perfect. There should have been a point somewhere. Anyway, so then uh, we did run into an, a hen that Skip had a good point on. We were on our way back, and so the wind wasn't good. It was behind us, um, but Skip did just about everything I could have asked of him. He pointed. Um, we walked around. For a bit, I ended up flushing the hen, um, and she flew up over these cattails, and as she flew over the cattails, four or five other birds, including a rooster, got up and flew out of there. Nothing we could do about it. And then the real fun happened. Um, and this has happened to Skip a few times. Gilly doesn't seem to have a problem with this, but Skip does. Um, I knew it was gonna happen. Off to my right, there's some brush that comes up and wraps around the inside edge of the woods. And off to my left is some brush right on the edge of the cornfield. Now this stuff on my left, I'm thinking, that's good stuff. There's gonna be a bird in there. It looks perfect. Stuff on my right, it, there could be a bird in there whatever mm -hmm. so skip is in the stuff on my right and he's doing a good job he's working right where he should be but i stop because i don't want to go past this stuff on the left i just stop i want him to come back and we're going to go that way and he's working ahead further to the north further 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 to the north 
turns into that brush on along the edge of the woods and then keeps going north into the woods. I mean, we've been walking to the north and now he's going to keep going to the north. <clears throat> and I've trained both my dogs that when I push the beep, 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 beep button on the collar, that means come back to me. Just because I don't like to yell. I mean, if you're standing there yelling, you're going to be watching birds fly away. And so he gets to the north of me into the woods. Beep, 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 beep. Well, it's been, I've been standing there for a couple minutes. And instead of turning around and coming to the south back to me, he runs to the north. And I can tell, I'm watching him on the GPS. He is hauling. He's, he goes 225 yards away from me. He's looking for me. He gets a long ways away. Stops, collar buzzes because he's on point, but really he's standing in the woods looking for me. And so I keep beeping him. He turns around, runs back to the edge of the woods, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to call him because he can't figure out where I am. So I give a whistle and I can hear this woods is big hills, there's a pond out there, trees. And my sound is just echoing into the woods off to our right, off to the east. And Skip just takes off to the east, runs 175 yards to the east looking for me. Stops, I get a point, Skip's in the woods looking for me. Where is he? Finally, I'm just like, I'm just going to wait here. He will figure it out. And he does. Eventually works all the way back to the west side, out of the woods, on the edge of the field. And he's coming running back to me. And now the wind is perfectly at his back and he has to go straight through that brush where I think there's birds just to get back to me. And guess what happens? He runs right through the brush, hens start getting up. Luckily there was no rooster, but it was just like, ah, dog. So that was it, frustrating. Um, but we did get a bird and we're done now. So. I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for next time. See ya.